Well, chitty chat, kitty cat. Well, the new little four by four that I just did is promised. Um, and this one is winging its way to a new home. Um, this one, the oval is going as well. And the, uh, this one is also going to a new home. So those are now promised and uh, will be winging their way to a new home um, soon. <laughs> it's Saturday, so they'll be out in the mail Monday. Um, so yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I hope they enjoy their piece. Now, I'm kind of a little sad to see this one go because it actually is one of my favorites. But I know it's going to a good home. So I'm hoping that they are going to enjoy that. So I did a new, a little uh, five by seven on the artist paper here. This is the, uh, I think it's 140 pound watercolor. Yeah, cold press. So here it is. Um, there it is. So that's the new one. I'm gonna take this one down. Um, I told her I would take that down and try it in a few different frames so she can get an idea of how she's gonna to want to frame it. I'm gonna take this down and look at some of the five by sevens frames and stuff. Now they do have ones up there, frames that are like collages that you could put a lot of different um, ones that are five by seven and stuff in. So I think I'm gonna check those out too. But uh, yeah, this is again a little different. This is the um, acrylic gouache. So between an acrylic and a gouache, um, yeah. So that's new one today. Oh my goodness. So oh, today I go down for my shot soon. Um, I'm debating uh, on whether to go down and try to look at the frames now before I get my shot or after. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if I have enough time really now, I think I'll wait until after I go for my shot. Then then I have full time, I'm not gonna be rushed. But uh, yeah, gotta get these packed up and ready to go um, to their new home. Yeah, these go well together. This one, this one, and the, the other one, yeah. So now I'm going to have some more room on my walls to make some more art. <laughs> oh, mercy. I did put the one piece um, up on my wall. I can't find where, where did I put my phone? Ah, I don't know where I put it. Anyway, um, but it looks good on the wall. That one that's really that kind of sparse modern one. I have it under one of my acrylic things over here. Well, I think I can turn this around and you can see it. It looks good. The colors on it look good. Let me pull this out here. So I can actually pick this up. Ah! So there you can see it on the wall up there um, underneath my other picture. Um, I've got art sitting everywhere up here. My takeoff up there of the um, Vincent, Vincent Van Gogh. He's got Starry Starry Night, and I have uh, the Pink Delight up here <laughs> instead. I'll show you that one. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Now, Vincent Van Gogh is not one of my favorites, but this is one that I did, a takeoff on his Starry Starry Night. 
but I decided, you know, I didn't want to do the blues and stuff, so I did mine with the pink. Okay, what do you think? Um, I think this was fun to do, okay? But like I said, Vincent Van Gogh is not my uh, favorite. I am, um, after watching last night the Monet stuff, I really, really do like Monet's aesthetic, okay? But I do have the one that I did, the takeoff on the Vincent Van Gogh story, story night. He's got the night, I've got more of the day, you know, a little, little lighter, a little not so, you know, drastic <laughs> anyway. Oh, so I'm looking forward to going down and trying the different frames. I think a white frame on this one will be nice. So I'm gonna go give those a try and just send some photos um, so that she could see how the different frames look. Well, maybe I'll take this one down there too, but uh, this square, they don't have too many. I don't think they'll have one to fit this. I don't think, I don't remember any square frames. Yeah, I don't think they have it, but I might take this one down there too, just to see if I can find something, but I don't think they have one. Would be interesting to see how this looks framed. I think this is, this is a 12 by 12 maybe, 10 by 10, 12 by 12. Yeah, it's a 12 by 12, 12 square. Yeah, 12, 12 square. So I'll have to look and see if I can find a frame. Um, and see if I can see what it actually looks like framed. That'd be fun. So on that note, I'm gonna have to put some of the things up on the wall here again. It's a little sparse behind me. Um, yeah. So on that note, I'm gonna leave this here and uh, just kind of chillax a little bit before I have to go to get poked. <laughs> and uh, yeah, get ready for the day. Oh my goodness. Might spend some time, you know, I'm kind of chillaxing, not doing a lot of readings today because I have the one with um, Hogarth today. Don't forget today is Hodega Day. And I never know what they're going to read on. And I, once in a while, I'll do a reading and then get there and find out we're reading on basically the same thing. So I'm just going to have maybe take the day off a little bit um, and wait until after we have our Hodega time uh, before I do anything. What, are you, what, what, Mr. Max? You giving me love? Are you loving? You kissing up to me? Uh huh. Uh huh. Kissing up to me? Yeah, yeah, I I know, I know. Uh-huh. He's trying to butter me up over here. You trying to butter me up? Here comes your sister. There we go. Now, here she comes. See what you started? See what you started? Now she's up. Mom, you got to give me attention. Hey, bad hair gade girl. What do you... <laughs> so I'm... <laughs> Oh my goodness, these two, these two are tr uh, troublemakers. <laughs> I'm going to leave this here for now. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, I'm going to leave this here for now. And uh, yeah, don't forget today, 4 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, we are having Hodega. So Diane will be back today, barring any other things happening between now and 4. So we'll see you online. You giving me kisses, Missy May May? May May, you giving me kisses, huh? You giving me loves? Kissy, kissy, love, love? Yeah, okay. I'll see you online. <laughs>